Hi, my name is Ruth Kegengel and I'm a musician, teacher and Manx speaker from the Isle of Man. In this video I'm going to teach you how to sing the Manx traditional Gaelic song Liga Liga. If you're familiar with Irish traditional music you may recognise some melodic similarities between Liga Liga and the Irish traditional tune The Rakes of Mallow. However, our Manx tune has some distinct different twists and turns and its own set of lyrics which we'll come to in just a bit. Firstly, I'm going to sing you the whole song so that you can hear it all the way through in its entirety. Then we'll break down the lyrics line by line and finally put together the song bit by bit with both the lyrics and the melody. Now we're going to go through the lyrics line by line and there is a line that just comes up all the time in this song and that is Liga Gus Avaga and that means galloping to the market or fair. So if you can say that you can sing a lot of this song. So let's just try the very first line which is repeated three times in the first half of the song. Liga Liga Gus Avaga as I say, that happens three times. So let's do it three times through. Liga, liga, gus a vaga. Liga, liga, gus a vaga. Liga, liga, gus a vaga. And the fourth line of that first section is suri er eninen, courting the girls. So if you put that all together, Liga liga gus a vaga, liga liga gus a vaga, liga liga gus a vaga, suri e eninen. I like to repeat this first section, but you can go straight on to the second if you want to. The lyrics for the second section are Gilia, Gilia, gau anin, boy, boy, take a girl. Liga liga mer akin, talking about galloping again. Gilia, Gilia, Gawanin, Liga Gusavaga. And as we already know, Liga Gusavaga just means galloping to the market. So this is a great song to do as much of the lyrics are repetitive. So if you're new to Manx, this is a very, very accessible song. Now let's put the melody and the lyrics together line by line. Liga, Liga Gusavaga. Be careful on the vaga as you're going down. It's really, really easy to get out of tune. Let's do that bit again. Liga, liga, gasa vaga. The second line is very, very similar to the first. It just goes down a set of notes at the start. Liga, liga, gasa vaga. A nice little jump at the end for vaga. Again, watch your tuning on the way down. The third line starts off very like the first, but then heads right up. So just watch it. You take a nice deep breath so that you can support that high note at the end. Liga, liga, gasa, vaga. You might recognise that as an arpeggio. And the last line. Suri Again, these descending patterns, just watch that you don't, don't lose any pitch on them. Keep your eyebrows nice and bright and high and it'll keep you in tune. Let's do the first bit all together, that first half. Fifi. 
We're now going to do the second half of the melody and it's especially important to take a big breath before you reach for this high note on Gilia. So we're gonna aim up here. One, two, three, and Gilia, Gilia, Gawini. Let's do that line again. Gilia, Gilia, Gawini. The second line starts very similarly, but then ends up in a different area. The third line is the same as the first one in the second half. And then we finish with. Which ties together the first half and the second half really nicely with a melodic theme. So now we've gone through all the lyrics and all the melody and put it together line by line, let's sing through the whole song. Mm, one, two, three, and Lika, 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 Suri, Ereninen. Lika, lika, gasa, vaga, lika, lika, gasa, vaga, lika, lika, gasa, vaga, suri, ereninen. Gilia, gilia, gawinin, lika, lika, merokin. Gilia, gilia, gawinin, lika, gasa, didn't the mine. Liga Liga was collected by the late Mona Douglas in the 20th century and apparently was accompanied by a children's clapping game. We don't know a lot of the details about what this clapping game looked like, but I have devised my own to go along with this song. It subconsciously teaches the rhythms of the song and is excellent for using with children in this manner if you're teaching them about quavers or semi-quavers, or even if you just want them to have a great time. But it's not just for children. You can play it as an adult and you can have a great time doing that as well. So let's break down the clapping game into parts so that you can see how it goes. For the first section of the song, you would stand opposite a partner, clapping together your own hands before clapping your partners on alternative sides. So we come together. Liga, liga, gasa. For all of the quavers in the song. When we come to the Varga section, we're going to clap on our knees. So we can either clap on our knees or we can clap on our chest, that doesn't matter. So I'm going to clap on my chest so you can see. Varga. Or you can do it down here. Varga. So I'll do that first bit again, imagining that I have a partner with me. Liga, liga, gasa, vaga. The second line has exactly the same rhythms and so the, the actions are exactly the same. Liga, liga, gasa, vaga. But the third and the fourth lines tend to catch people out because they're not exactly the same as the first and second. This can cause great hilarity when you're teaching it to children and it's a great one to do because it makes them realise the difference in rhythms. Liga, liga, gasa, vaga, suri, eraninen. For the second half of the song, where the boy is instructed to take a girl, we're going to circle, we're going to take the arm of our partner, the opposite arm, and we are going to turn around. Let me take the other arm. For the third line, we do the same as the first because it's the same tune. And hopefully we've turned back for the very last line, which would be exactly the same actions from the end of the first half. In addition to the clapping game that I've created for Liga Liga, there are plenty of things that can be done to enhance this song. For example, the creation of ostinati, that is small repeated musical patterns, be them rhythmic or melodic. 
or you could create a bass line to go along with the song as there are very limited chord changes within the song and it uses just three. A good example of an excellent bass line that goes along with this song is one created by Annie Kizik for her choir Kurjan Kujak, Manx Gaelic choir Kurjan Kujak, in her arrangement of Liga Liga. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial video. Slangat. <laughs>